Good morning, good afternoon, good evening guys, wherever you are in this beautiful world, whenever you're watching this video, welcome to the Bitcoin family channel. For the newcomers, my name is Didi, the guy that still believes in a peaceful revolution called Bitcoin. Today talking about the Bitcoin price, talking about one news item in Mexico, which is really interesting. Also talking about a trading tip, also a travel tip, and yes, of course, some other stuff that just comes to my mind when I'm walking this beautiful beach here in Lagos, Porto, guys. Check how amazing it is again this morning. Completely empty beach, beautiful sunrise over there above the village of Alvor. Uh, I can't not think of anything more beautiful than walking this morning here. And it's like the, the, the sea, it, it pulled back very far. Because look, the distance now till where it normally is, it's beautiful. It will be full moon probably soon. Today is Dio de Banya here in Portugal, which means huge festivities in the Algarve. I'm going to go to Praia de Luz. In Luz, uh, people will have uh, three stages, full uh, music and entertainment. And then at 12 o'clock midnight, all people will run from the beach into the sea to celebrate uh, the end of this season, the 29th of August. So yes, I will be one of those crazy guys running into the beach oh, or into the sea, into the beach that will end up with a man mouth full with sand. <laughs> that is not what we intend to do. We intend to get wet. <laughs> so that is later. But now let's first jump into some Bitcoin charts to give you a beautiful view. Um, what I see in Bitcoin that is different than all the other bull runs. These two charts. Bam. Two charts today, guys, that I want to share with you. The first chart is the Bitcoin hash rate. We just made a new all-time high in the hash rate. We took it above 400 tera hashes. This is the first time in Bitcoin history that we reached the level of 400 tera hashes. Look at that yellow line. Look how beautiful we have been climbing from zero to now 400 tera hashes. And in my opinion, this is going to be increasing tremendously in the upcoming years, as now also the Middle East, South America, and all over the world, more and more countries are going to use their green energy to mine Bitcoin. And yes, you heard me right, green energy, because Bitcoin is the greenest energy asset out there. I think it's almost 70% of the Bitcoins are being mined in a green way. And this is what you now see in this hashing power, guys. It's going up, up, up. Now, you can see these two red squares. These two are the two previous bull runs. So you can see what happened during those bull runs and bear markets with the hashing rate. Now, the last one in the first top, the hash rate dropped tremendously. But then after that, the climb started to go up massively. So if you look to the first time, that happened as well. When the drop in the hashing rate started, that is when the hash rate went up again. That is also when the new bull run was formed. Now we see something completely different. Now we've seen the hash rate making new all-time highs almost every day. It's going up, up, up. Uh, there's a lot of energy being used all over the world to support the Bitcoin blockchain, to support Bitcoin in whole. And yes, most of that is green. So stop the discussion if Bitcoin is good for the environment or not. It's 10,000 times better and greener than any other asset in our beautiful world, guys. Now, next chart is this one. And um, this one is the one I talked about in the intro. This time it is different. It is different. It is way different than the other times. Why? Look at this. The Bitcoin percentage balance on exchanges. Just check this. In 2015, one of the first bear markets, the amount of Bitcoins on the exchanges was increasing tremendously. People want to, of course, exchange Bitcoins uh, for profit. And then we look at the 2018 uh, bear market, 18, 19, same thing happened. The amount of Bitcoin exchanges kept increasing. So all the way from 2012 to 2000, 2020, the amount of Bitcoins on exchanges has only been increasing, which we saw as more and more and more people uh, buying and using Bitcoin or trading Bitcoin. But from that moment in 2020, from that halving, we see something different. Yes, we had another beautiful bull run all the way from 3K to 70K, but we have seen the amount of Bitcoins on exchanges only decreasing. Decreasing. 
And in my honest opinion, um, the cause for this is because there was a lot of DEXs created, so decentralized exchanges, or, or uh, like Uniswap, for example, or PancakeSwap, or in my opinion, the most and the best in, uh, exchange out there is Apex Pro. Um, you know, there is a link down below if you want to trade completely decentralized by connecting your wallet to an exchange, so the Bitcoins will never be in the exchange wallet, but always in your own wallet, then uh, use Apex Pro. They are the, by, by, by far the best a decentralized exchange that gives you a centralized exchange experience because they also use an order book so you can plan ahead you can buy put buy orders and sell orders in it which you can't do um, on uniswap for example or on uniswap for example or on PancakeSwap. on apex pro you can do orders and all the thing the same as in a centralized exchange but still you hold your currencies in your wallet and those things i think are the reason for the declining amount of bitcoins on exchanges and it keeps declining which also the second reason could also be people finally learn to huddle yes huddle bitcoin huddle 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 they don't want to sell bitcoin anymore they know it's the goal of the 21st century they know we are in the future going to pass 100k and maybe even few 100k and maybe even a million if you are talking about 10 years ahead and people understand this they buy and accumulate bitcoin and they hold it they take it off the exchange where they buy it, they put it in cold storage in their hardware wallet or any other way of um, storage, maybe paper wallets, whatever they prefer, guys. But that's very important to understand. This is the first time in history that the amount of Bitcoins during the market, during the four year cycle, is decreasing. Beautiful charts. Now let's jump into the next part. Bam. Which is, guys, if you want to participate in all these cool stuff uh, that uh, the Bybit is organizing every time again for the community, for the traders, and by that proving that they give a huge part of the fees back to the community, then do sign up using the link down below my video. Uh, if you sign up using my link, you can claim a bonus up to 30,000 US dollar, uh, 0% trading fees, etc, etc, etc. Just click the link and you will see every beautiful advantage I have there lined up for you when you sign up to buy it now after these amazing charts guys i want to give you the first trading tip of today uh, the trading tip of today is you need to be disciplined to be a good trader discipline 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 and i know that it's very difficult to be disciplined because you need to stick to your trading plan if you have a plan during that plan Yes, you can make mistakes. Yes, some losses may happen. Yes, you can, things happen in life that will destroy your plan. But at the end, you still need to stick to the trading plan. Don't let your emotions control your trading. Be disciplined. Make your strategy, make your plan. If you have done that all correctly, then don't let your emotions ruin that plan. Discipline is lesson number one for the beginners in trading. So, be disciplined, bam. And talking about discipline, guys, you know who is disciplined? There is one woman in Mexico, and that is the news of today. She is disciplined. Her name is Ingrid Kempis. Please, remember that name, Ingrid Kempis, because this senator is gonna run for president elections in Mexico. And this senator, this beautiful woman, is a Bitcoin-minded woman. She wants to have Bitcoin as a legal tender in Mexico. And now she's gonna run for president. I think it's one of the first time in history that a woman in Mexico runs for president, which is already huge for women. And this is a real woman, you know, this is a real woman. This is not like those uh, identify fake things with a uh, penis uh, bungling somewhere there. <laughs> this is just a real woman. Not the one that like won Miss Universe in the Netherlands. That was not a woman. That was a dude. <laughs> a dude one. Right. Other subject, but this beautiful, intelligent uh, senator is gonna run for president in Mexico. I've been to Mexico, Mexico, many times, guys. And in Mexico, Bitcoin adoption is already there. If I go to Playa de Carmen, there's at least five or six places I can directly pay with Bitcoin. 
There is this beautiful company in Mexico. The links are down below. It's called Bitso that I used over there. You know, with Bitso, you can uh, do the same like crypto.com and all that stuff. You can have a debit card and have your crypto there and all that stuff. And even, you know, transfer your crypto to a bank account if you want. Um, I don't want to do it, but you want to do it. So Mexico is already like Bitcoin minded. Meetups in Playa de Carmen, meetups in Tulum. There's a Bitcoin hotel being built in Mahahual by a good friend of mine, Bruno. So there is a shitload of Bitcoin things happening in Mexico already. So if they also on top of that now get a president that is pro-Bitcoin, like the El Salvador president, then Mexico could be one of the biggest countries when it comes um, you know, to Bitcoin because there is also a lot of energy so they could also start mining Bitcoin, etc., etc., etc. So yes, viva la Mexico. Uh, we will be back soon in there when the, the fucking shit hits the fan again and everybody needs to walk around with face masks and lockdowns and all that corrupt stuff that the politicians want to suppress on us again. Yeah, Mexico then is always a safe choice because there, COVID just doesn't exist. So that's why we always go there. Well, uh, the shit hits the fan in the rest of the world. First Thailand, of course. I think Thailand is also fighting the whole Pfizer scheme. So um, let's see. Maybe Thailand will even uh, um, be mild when it comes to these masks and all that stuff, guys. Now, that was the news of today. I wish Ingrid Kempis all the luck. If I can help you, <laughs> yeah, just have a cup of coffee or something with me. And we can talk about uh, Mexican politicians. Uh, we will rule the world. <laughs> Viva la Mexico. That was the news of today, guys. Bam. Sun is slowly rising, guys. I'm gonna turn around the camera in a second so you can see that beautiful view of the sun rising above Alvor again. Yeah, it gives you maybe a relaxed feeling to start the day, guys. Um, morning. Talking about Mexico, guys. If you go to Mexico, uh, that's traveling. So that leads into my travel tip of today. Oh, beautiful structured video today, guys. <laughs> the travel tip of today is always pack light. Don't pack your suitcase completely full with 26 t-shirts, 40 shorts, two jackets, three training suits, track suits, sco shoes for every event, all that stuff. Look, you know, in every country you go to, it's just maybe a surprise, they have stores. <laughs> in some countries, they even have stores where you can pay with Bitcoin. So why would you bring all that shit from your country to that new country? Just pack light, travel light. It will save you a lot of fees with all the suitcases and the checking in and the, um, at the airport and as well, it will give you the opportunity to support these stores in these new countries that you're visiting. Yes, buy a beautiful shirt and the shorts and a, a whatever you want to buy in Mexico. They also have really cool t-shirts. They also have really cool stuff. And by buying stuff there, yeah, you support uh, the community over there. And maybe even the Bitcoin community if you pay with Bitcoins. So don't travel too heavy always pack light that was the travel tip of today guys uh, which brings me to sharing with you the amazing sunrise and also some really good advice after that because on this beautiful morning there's something that came to my mind that i need to share with all of you but first enjoy 20 seconds of beautiful silence of no voice and my fat face in the screen for the beautiful sunrise here in lago sporgo and one And that was your 20 seconds of happiness this beautiful morning, of course, at the Bitcoin Family Channel. Yes, where we still believe in a peaceful revolution and we will give you beautiful advice every day again. Advice for the day, guys, is very simple but very powerful. In life, 10% happens to you and 90% is how you react to it. And that's very important. Your reaction has an influence on your mindset, on your happiness, on everything of the day. I can be walking the beach and the water can be touching my feet and I can react in two ways. One way is, ah, this is cold water, it's destroying my day. Or, 
oh my god what a beautiful fresh feeling in my feet other way could be ah oh, my feet will be wet and full with sand i need to go home with this yeah you know all the reaction would be ah oh, this is such an amazing refreshing feeling i love the nature i love this feeling so for me, so for me the response and the reaction to things that happen to you in life is way more important than the 10 percent and that you choose to happen in life so if you want to have a beautiful mindset for today guys try to react positive to everything that happens to you in life try to react positive be positive of course stand for your norms and values but still try to be positive to everything that happens in your life beautiful sunrise guys as somebody is running towards me maybe something happens i will be positive <laughs> No, guys, um, that was everything for today. Um, I hope you really enjoyed this video. Well, yeah. If you did enjoy the video, then please give this video a thumbs up. Share with your friends and family. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell. And please leave a comment. What do you think about these videos? Should I, again, upload to YouTube? Probably I'm allowed to upload to YouTube today again. Let's see. If I'm, I will put it, put it over there. And uh, for all the people that are watching this on YouTube, uh, also understand that I have a decentralized version of videos on Rumble and on Odyssey. Uh, they don't block my videos if I talk about something and um, that is not allowed um, in YouTube terms, for example. So sometimes you need to go to Rumble. So I would love you guys to also sign up to my channel on Rumble uh, so that you have a backup channel. Whatever might happen, you know, maybe there's a technical error on YouTube or whatever that could happen, you can still watch the videos on Rumble, X and Odyssey as well, guys. Now, uh, that was my real end. Yes, that was the end. I wish you an amazing day, all the positivity that you deserve for this beautiful day, and see you tomorrow again.